Now a call for an attack on the largest shopping mall in the country. A new video purportedly shows a terror group calling for an attack on Mall of America in Bloomington, Minnesota. That mall is one of three similar targets a terror group specifically names, including West Edmonton Mall in Canada and the Oxford Street shopping area in London. Joyce Evans is in the studio right now with what's going on, Joyce. Well, Ian and Lucy, how credible is this? That's the question tonight. That video appears to have been posted by Al-Shabaab. That's an Islamist militant group based in Somalia and aligned with Al-Qaeda. And this group has already proven it can make good on its threats. The video is chilling. Six minutes of graphic images celebrating the 2013 attack on an upscale mall in Kenya that claimed more than 60 lives. An attack the narrator makes perfectly clear he'd like to duplicate in Minnesota. What if such an attack was to occur in the Mall of America in Minnesota? It's a question that's been posed before, and it comes on the heels of last week's anti-radicalism summit at the White House. FBI agent Richard Thornton says Al-Shabaab recruitment in Minnesota is a growing problem. Al-Shabaab has specifically targeted Minnesota Somali community for recruitment, encouraging our youth through videos and social media to either join the fight overseas or to conduct an attack in the United States. Local Somali leaders have been worried for quite some time about recruitment of their young people. And in recent months, lots of teens in Minnesota have been arrested for alleged connections with terror groups like ISIS. Now, some worry that a corner has been turned. This is gonna happen, but the question is where it's gonna happen and when it's gonna happen. That's why we need people to be very much informed and all about this. Local leaders hope information and cooperation can stop a future attack. Meantime, the Mall of America says it's not taking any chances, adding additional security and pledging cooperation with law enforcement. Now, there are no known threats to any other American malls right now. And today, the Secretary of Homeland Security said Americans do not need to avoid any malls, but they should stay vigilant. Ian and Lucy. Always, always.